As the state looks at closing up to five New York prisons in its proposed budget, North Country communities are looking to protect their prisons. 7 News reporter Lexi Bruning has more on what they're doing and the possible consequences of closures. We think we've done our share. A message loud and clear from the North Country community. Local leaders in St. Lawrence and Jefferson counties, including municipalities like Philadelphia, Dexter and Clayton, have all written letters in support of Assemblyman Scott Gray's mission, pardon our prisons. They're important in terms of the economy, to every jurisdiction in throughout both counties. A proposal in Governor Kathy Hochul's proposed budget allows the state to close up to five prisons, citing the closures would, quote, increase the operational efficiency of the correction system. Gray argues the North Country has paid its dues and has numbers to prove it. According to impact studies done by Jefferson and St. Lawrence counties, when Watertown and Ogdensburg correctional facilities closed in 2021 and 2022, the North Country lost 800 jobs and $72 million in payroll. Here's what's at stake if Cape Vincent and an additional prison in St. Lawrence County are forced to follow suit. More than 800 jobs and $80 million in payroll. The issue goes beyond jobs and money. Clayton Mayor Nancy Hyde says if Cape Vincent Correctional were to close, it would have a, quote, significant impact on the village's sewer budget. The village relies on the prison for its sewer and water service. As for a governor correctional facility, that site is represented by Assemblyman Ken Blankenbush, who says he's been in conversations with both the administration and union and will take their lead to advocate for the prison. No word on which prisons could potentially close or when. Lexi Bruning, 7 News.